Hey everyone, Chad here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about 10 WordPress plugins that you should install for your site. Doesn't matter if your site's a company site or blog, doesn't even matter what the theme is, whether it's fashion, online business, travel, food, and so on, these plugins are essential. The plugins I'm gonna talk about are gonna keep your site secure, help it to run smoothly, ensure that it's found in search engines, and make your site more marketable. I've been using WordPress for seven years. I've built many sites in between and looked at thousands of plugins. I published a book about the best plugins, which you can find at Amazon. So let's look at the plugins that I recommend for your site. The first plugin we can take a look at is Rename WP Login. You're probably familiar with this because this is the generic URL string that you're familiar with when you're about to log into your website. So what this does, it allows you to change this part. So for example, if we look at this, this is what I would get when I first installed chattenant.com and you see the WP login. A lot of hackers and people looking to break into your site know that administrators don't change this, they just leave it as is. So this is actually a big security risk. So once you install the plugin on your permalinks page in the settings area, you can then scroll to the bottom and you'll see this rename WP login PHP then at that point you can customize it. Just remember what you customize it to because you want to be able to log back into your site. But you can customize it to whatever you want, whether it's rainbow cow or milk chocolate or whatever it is, but something very unique that you're gonna remember that you're gonna know, and that's the way you're gonna log into your site going forward. And again, hackers and people looking to break into your site won't have a clue what your new URL will be. Staying with security, WordFence is a highly recommended, popular, and powerful all-around security plugin for your site. You can see here are 2 million active installs. They maintain a five-star rating, which is very difficult to do. They call out over 21 million downloads. I've been using this plugin for a while, and they offer free and premium versions of their plugin. WordFence will scan your site for security problems. They'll notify you of any issues. They have a really nice dashboard here that keeps you up to date with firewall, live traffic, and all these different elements and components that relate to protecting your site. Someone tries to break in or hack your site, again, they'll notify you. One thing I would do is I would go over the settings. The default settings are really good, but go through them, just make sure they are what you want. You can also search for WordSense, optimize settings, have a look, again, play with the settings. But this security plugin, again, is highly recommended. I highly recommend it, and you should definitely be using it for your site. If you don't ever want to lose all the hard work and effort you put into building your site and the content there, then you want to be backing it up regularly. With this plugin, Backup WordPress, it's a great plugin, 200,000 active installs, a really good rating here. There are several really good backup plugins, so you can check them out. But again, you do want to have a backup plugin installed for your site. Here is Backup WordPress in action. I've set it to back up my database and files every two weeks. Here are the records here. You may want to set it to back up your database and files weekly or daily. It really depends on how much you're doing with your site. There's nothing more embarrassing than having broken links on your site. In other words, links that are there that don't direct anywhere or that create an error message and just don't work. Before I installed this plugin, I didn't realize that I had a few broken links on my site. It doesn't make it very convenient for the visitors to my site who are clicking on these links. And so this plugin helps you deal with that. Basically, you install it, it will monitor your blog looking for broken links, it will notify you of any broken links. So you can see here, no broken links found, which is perfect. I know that people come to my site, and if I do use any hyperlinks, those hyperlinks work and people can explore them and get to where they're going to. Have you ever clicked on a link from a search engine result or on somebody's website only to get an error message, usually a 404 error message, that's because the administrator hasn't properly or carefully redirected that link. So with the redirection plugin, it does just that. It takes care of all these 404 errors, 301, 302, 307, and some other considerations here. So it's a really efficient plugin to optimize your site and to keep things moving along smoothly. I've made a lot of changes to my URLs because as I learned more about search engine optimization, I wanted to go back and fix them just to make sure they're more keyword oriented. 
So you can see here, a lot of changes have been made, but this plugin makes it very easy to do. This is where the magic happens. I just pop in the source URL, so the original, and then the target, which would be the new one. And to make sure it is working, I just look over here to see that as people are clicking on it, it's being registered. Before some of these had a zero, which meant that I didn't properly redirect it. So just make sure that you see some numbers coming up here and that will tell you that you've done the right thing. And of course you can go back to that link where you've changed it, click on it and make sure you don't get any error messages. One of the reasons we create websites is to get found, usually to get found in search engine or through other marketing activities. But if we're talking about search and we're talking about SEO, there are a couple plugins that are really popular with WordPress users. There is the all-in-one SEO pack and there's also Yoast. Both are highly recommended. I went with this one because it sets up well for me. They offer a free and pro version. You can see here 3 million active installs, a very good rating. And this plugin does, as it says all in one, a lot of things regarding SEO for your site. The one critical point that I wanna make is SEO plugins don't do the work for you. You have to have an understanding and basic foundation regarding search engine optimization principles and techniques. I took a course last year from Coursera, actually several courses that were part of a program. Coursera is a wonderful e-learning platform. They offer a bunch of free courses. You can also pay if you wanna get a certificate and what have you, but go over there or look somewhere else for an SEO beginner's course if you're not familiar with SEO. Then you wanna to start to play around with these plugins. So with the all-in-one SEO pack, here's a post that I created about making money on your phone. And the plugin works here and shows up at the bottom. So this is where I can set up my title for search engine optimization, description. And what's also nice here is they have a social settings tab. So I can click on this, I can pick an image. And this image here is the images that you typically see on let's say Twitter or Facebook that readily appear. So once again, you need to understand search engine optimization or else these plugins are gonna be pointless. Staying with search, Google XML sitemaps is a fantastic plugin, very popular, over 2 million active installs, a five star rating. And what it does is a very simple job, but a very important one. It creates a sitemap of your site and sends that information over to Google, Bing, and the rest of search engines to make it easier to crawl your site so that they know what's on it. This of course helps with showing up in search engine results and in other places that of course you wanna show up to get noticed. So you can see here, plugin's working as it should. It's creating these files, it's doing these things automatically. And again, it's notifying the search engine of what's going on on your site. How is your site performing in terms of visitors, page views, organic search, and other key metrics? Well, that's what Google Analytics is all about. So for this plugin, you're gonna need to set up Google Analytics. Once you do, you can install this plugin and you'll get a read on these different metrics right from your WordPress dashboard. So this plugin here, close to a million active installs, again, very highly rated and well received by the WordPress community. If I skip over here, this is what it looks like. So instead of having to log into Google Analytics separately, again, I have it on my dashboard. Here are yesterday's results. This is pointing out sessions, users, page views, bounce rate, organic search, and all these other key metrics here. And you can look at what these things mean because that's important so that you can understand them and they'll have meaning to you and then you can focus on what you want to improve on in the areas but nevertheless this is really just a good plugin a solid plugin to help me understand again how my site is performing i talked about making your site more marketable improving the appearance of it using better looking opt-in forms with thrive themes it's a premium wordpress plugin I've been a member since 2015. I love this plugin. It's actually a suite of plugins. And what Thrive Themes offers are themes, leads or opt-in forms, a content builder, landing pages, clever widgets, a headline optimizer to optimize the titles of your post, Thrive Ultimatum, which uses countdown timers as a scarcity marketing tactic, Thrive Ovation, which leverages testimonials, Thrive Quiz Builder, which is actually new. So you can see here, it's a suite of plugins. It's a wonderful suite actually. That's really helped me to not only make my site more marketable, but of course, increase my subscribers, use landing pages when I like to drive sales and a bunch of other things. 
I'm a Thrive Themes member so I can access the entire suite of plugins. But for chat10.com, I'm just using the Thrive Leads, which is their opt-in forms. I can access 11 different types of opt-in forms. You can see some of my results here. So four and a half conversion rate, close to a 27% conversion rate and 15% with this form in particular. This has definitely been a worthwhile investment in my WordPress site, in my online business. Yes, I think free is wonderful. And if there's some great free plugins out there, I'll use them like the ones we talked about in this video. For opt-in forms and landing pages, there are plugins out there. I just didn't find any of them useful enough to get the results that I want. As many of you know, to add one or two images to a post is pretty easy to do. You don't need a plugin for that. But once you start to get a little bit more into images on your site and complexities around the images, maybe you want to do different things with them. Maybe you want to add multiple images to one line. That's when you need a robust plugin like Foo Gallery. I love this plugin. I have another video on it and I'll add that to the description section so you can check it out. But I've been using this plugin for a while. It's very highly rated, 80,000 active installs. You can see here, five star review. And this is a very handy image plugin to have installed on your site. This is how I developed one of my older sites, adplugin.com. You can see here the many different images here. And I use Food Gallery for this, otherwise it would have been very difficult to set up. The Food Gallery plugin gives you a lot of options to play with, including the spacing of your images, alignment, size, where you want your image to link to. You can choose border style and also the hover effect. So I can go from dark tint to caption to colorize icon. And you can also do custom CSS. We explored several amazing plugins. So check them out along with the thousands of free and premium plugins available to you in the WordPress environment to find what's right for you and your site. Best of luck with your WordPress activities and I'll see you in my other videos. Bye for now.